Hello there everyone. Welcome to another children's story time. Uh, I am Matthew, as always, and it's so great that so many of you joined us. I loved all the pictures of pancakes you sent me last week. It was really fantastic. And hearing about what you're giving up for Lent. This week we've got a slightly different story. We've got a story about a man named Jonah. Now, Jonah was a prophet. He was someone who spoke for God. And you can find his story in its own book, the book of Jonah in the Old Testament. I think we should just dive straight in and uh, read our story, should we? Excellent. Generally speaking, the prophets, the messengers God sent to his people, did as God said. But there was one exception. Jonah. God spoke to Jonah. Go to Nineveh, he said, and tell the people I know all about their wickedness. In 40 days, Nineveh shall be destroyed. Now, Nineveh was the capital of Assyria, and the Assyrians were the enemies of God's people. So Jonah did not mind telling the people of Nineveh that God was about to destroy them. But as he thought about it, Jonah thought, God is loving. He forgives people and he lets them have a second chance. He won't destroy Nineveh. And I'll look silly. So Jonah sent off. Not for Nineveh, though. No, he went to the port of Jaffa. There, he caught a boat bound for Spain. I'll go to Spain instead thought Jonah. Can maybe have a holiday. But I'm not going to go to Nineveh. It's too scary. As soon as the ship went out to sea though, God sent a great storm. The captain and the crew were terrified. Pray to your gods, they cried to the passengers. Pray for our lives. But Jonah was fast asleep. The captain shook him hard. Pray like everyone else. He said, I can't ask for God's help, said Jonah. I've been running away from him. In fact, it's God that sent this storm. Throw me overboard. Then the sea will be calm. At first, the captain refused. What do you mean throw you overboard? If I throw you overboard, you'll die. I'm not doing that. But as the storm got worse and worse, in the end, the captain did. He threw Jonah overboard and Jonah plunged down, down deep into the water. The sea grew calm and aboard the ship, the men gave thanks to Jonah's God. Jonah thought he'd drown. As the waves closed over his head, he called out to God for help. Oh, God did. He helped Jonah, but he sent a huge fish, a massive fish, so big that it swallowed Jonah alive. Alone and in the dark of the fish for three days, Jonah was really sorry he disobeyed God. So he prayed, God, even though I'm in this fish and I'm far away from my home, and even though I didn't do what you said, and even though it's really scary, I believe in you, God, and I know you want to help me. So God, knowing that Jonah was sorry, gave the word, and the fish threw Jonah up on a beach. <laughs> He'd never been so glad to see the sun, even though he was covered in fish vomit. Jonah... Well, he went straight to Nineveh to tell the people what God had said. In 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed because none of you are a loving God. The people took God at his word. They changed their ways, every single one of them. From the lowest slave to the king in the palace, all of them started behaving better. 
they started worshipping God again. God was really glad because they'd given up on their wicked ways and he didn't want to destroy them. Jonah sat down outside the city, feeling very angry and very miserable. Didn't I say this is what you'd do? He said to God. That's why I tried to run away. I knew how kind you are. So now just let me die. I look like a fool. But God didn't. Instead, he made a plant grow up and shade him from the burning sun. And Jonah felt a lot better. The next day, the plant died and the sun beat down on him. I'm glad of that plant, said Jonah. I'm sorry it's gone. Now you're beginning to learn, God said. You're sorry for a plant that you did nothing for. You didn't make it grow. So don't you think I have a right to be sorry for all those children in Nineveh? All the innocent children. Not to mention the animals. I gave them life. And I go to a lot of trouble taking care of them. And at last, Jonah began to understand. That was a great story about a guy called Jonah. He went some. God told him that he had to go somewhere. It was a bit scary, so he ran away. But when Jonah finally went, things worked out okay. You know the story this week? It reminds me of something that might have happened with you. Because I know that on Monday, a lot of you went back to school. Now, I don't know how you felt about that. Some of you were probably really excited to get back to see your friends, your families. Maybe even excited to see your teachers. You were so excited to go and play in the playground and learn all the fun things. But for some of you, it was maybe a bit scary. Maybe you didn't really know what was going to happen. Maybe things were just a bit, I don't know, a bit uncertain. Maybe you were a bit frightened. Maybe you even tried to run away. Well, when things are scary... And when things are tough, we know that we can ask God for help, just like Jonah did. We don't have to be scared of talking to God, even if we've not been very good. We can just ask God for help. Because God gave us life. And God loves us, oh so much. And God will take care of us in the end. So if things are really exciting or if things are a bit scary just now I want you to go and I want you to pray to God why don't I say a prayer and you can follow along with me if you like our God we thank you for all of the amazing things we can do in this world and we thank you for school a place we can see our friends place where our teachers are, where we learn all about the great things in your world and all the things we need to know to live in it. We know that sometimes going back to these places can be a bit scary and we know that sometimes it can be really exciting. You know how we feel and however we feel our God, we just pray you would be with us this week also be with our teachers as they're working really hard be with our parents because they've got feelings about this too God be with us all Amen well that was great and I'm going to see you again next week when we're going to be starting to tell a big story a story that's going to take us quite a few weeks a story of a man called Joseph who started off as a boy having not an awful lot of luck but who became someone very important because he trusted God I'll see you next week for that until then why don't you drop me a wee line tell me how you're getting on at school I'll maybe see some of you soon bye <laughs>